Stirling engine. In an ideal Stirling engine, n moles of an ideal gas are isothermally compressed, pressurized at a constant volume, allowed to expand isothermally, and then cooled at constant volume, as shown in the figure. So this is the hot side, this is the cold side, and these are isotherms. The expansion takes place at temperature Th and the compression at Tc. Show that the ratio of the pressures Pc to Pd is Pb to Ba. Pa. This quantity is called the compression ratio of the engine or the CR. Determine the work done in terms of the compression ratio. Part B during the expansion phase and part C during the compression phase. So that's where we will calculate the work done on this uh, gas. And part D, an ideal Stirling engine uses one mole of helium as its working substance and a compression ratio of 10. The temperature reservoirs at 100 C and 20 degrees Celsius and the frequency of operation of 100 Hertz. What is the power output of this engine? So let's start with the ratio of the pressures. Uh, the pressure at point A times the volume at point A, uh, this is an ideal uh, gas, uh, will be equal to uh, the number of moles, universal gas constant R times temperature Tc. Pressure at point B, volume at point B is equal to Nr Tc as well because A and B are on the same isotherm. And pressure at point C times volume at point C is equal to pressure at point C since Vc is equal to uh, Vb. This is an isovolumetric process. Pc Vb is equal to nRTH. And pressure at point D, volume at point D is equal to pressure at point D volume at point A because D and A are in the same volume uh, isovolumetric process NRTH. So I note that VC is equal to VB and VD is equal to VA. So if I take the ratio of the following equations PB VB PB VB is equal to NRTC and PA VA is equal to NRTC. Uh, I find that PB VB is equal to PA VA. And similarly, if I do the same thing for the other two, I see that PCVB is equal to PDVA. So that is taking the ratio of these two equations. So what is the conclusion? So I can see that uh, if I take the ratio PB over PA, PB over PA would be equal to VA over VB. That is also equal to PC over PD. And this is equal to VA over VB. And that's called the compression ratio CR. So basically I have found that the ratio of the pressures PCPD ratio is equal to PBPA ratio and that's called the compression ratio. Now we're going to calculate the work done. So work done in terms of the compression ratio during the expansion phase. Where is the expansion phase? Expansion phase is here between C and D. So C to D is an isothermal expansion isothermal expansion the work done on the gas will be equal to 
integral of minus p dv. So work done from c to d is minus integral from vc to vd n r th that's the temperature divided by volume dv so pv is equal to n r th on this curve and this will be equal to minus n r th natural logarithm vd divided by vc and that is n r th natural logarithm vc over vd that is the work done on the engine and uh, that will be equal to because vc is equal to vb n r th natural logarithm vc is equal to vb vd is equal to va vb over va so i find that the work done from point c to point d is n r t h a natural logarithm v b over v a which is natural logarithm 1 over the compression ratio c r or minus n r t h natural logarithm c r on the gas so this is work done on the gas now if you ask me what is work done by the engine work done by the gas from point c to point d it will be minus the work done on the gas that will be n r t h natural logarithm of the compression ratio okay and in part c i want to calculate uh, the compression part the compression part is between a and b so uh, a to b is an isothermal compression isothermal uh, the work done is integral of minus p dv so i can see that work done from a to b is minus integral v a to v b p dv which is minus the integral v a to v b n r t c divided by v dv and this is minus n r t c natural logarithm v b over v a so this will be n r t c natural logarithm v a over v b and work done from a to b w a to b on the gas will be then n r t c natural logarithm of the compression ratio but if you calculate work done by the gas from a to b that's the work output of the engine that will be minus n r t c natural logarithm of the compression ratio okay now part d uh, we have uh, the total work done by the engine n r t h natural logarithm compression ratio minus n r t c natural logarithm compression ratio and we have n equals one one mole the universal gas constant 8.315 joules per mole kelvin the compression ratio for this gas is 10 the hot temperature is 100 degrees c which is 373.15 kelvin the cold temperature is 20 degrees c which is 293.15 kelvin and th minus tc is 
80 Kelvin. All right. And the frequency of this cycle is 100 Hertz, which means the period T, which is 1 over the frequency, is 0 0.01 seconds. That's the period of the cycle. So the power output will be the total work done divided by one period. So we do total work in one period. That will be equal to and our natural logarithm compression ratio th minus tc divided by the period t so this will be what we are looking for the power output of the engine and if i substitute the numbers i have one mole 8.315 natural logarithm compression ratio is 10 the temperature difference is 80 kelvins divided by the period is 0 0.01 seconds and this gives us a power output of 153 kilowatts okay so that's our final answer. Now, uh, we have talked about a Stirling engine, which uh, has a cyclic process consisting of two isothermal and two isovolumetric processes. First, we wanted to show that the ratio of the pressures PC to PD is equal to PB over PA. How do we show that? If you look at ideal gas law uh, at A and B, PA VA is an RTC, PB VB is an, uh, an RTC. They're on the same isotherm. And similarly for C and D, PC VC is an RTH, PD VD is an RTH. They're on the higher isotherm. And the ratios, uh, noting that VC is equal to VB, VD is equal to VA, the same thing here. Um, the ratio of the uh, equations gives me PB over PA uh, is equal to um, VA over VB. So PB over PA is, because these cancel, VA over v, VA over VB. And similarly, PC over PD is VD over VC, which is VA over VB as well. So this compression ratio is PB over PA equals PC over PD equals VA over VB. So that's compression A to B. That's the compression ratio. So in part B and C, I want to calculate the work done in terms of the compression ratio. The work is done not in these two processes because dv is equal to zero the work is done in the isothermal processes in the expansion phase between c and d i calculate minus integral vc to vd nrth over v that's on the higher isotherm and that gives me nrth natural logarithm vc over vd or vb over va because vc and vd are equal to vb and va respectively work done by the gas is nrth natural logarithm compression range ratio which is va over vb okay so we multiply it with a minus sign for the compression part going from a to b uh, we do the same thing minus integral VA to VB PDV. Now we're in the lower isotherm and RTC over V is the pressure and TC is a constant. So minus NRTC natural logarithm VB over VA, which is NRTC natural logarithm compression ratio. This is work done on the gas by the gas is minus NRTC natural logarithm CR. The total work output will be NRTH natural logarithm CR minus NRTC natural logarithm CR. So if we have one mole helium gas, R is 8.315 joules per mole Kelvin compression ratio, hot and cold temperatures given. So we know the delta T. We know the frequency of the cycle, therefore in one period, which is 0.01 seconds, one over the frequency, we have this work output and our natural logarithm CR, TH minus TC. Substituting the numbers, we get our final answer, 153 kilowatts.